Cash Crave. Drop your dollar. For me, dollars for you, dollars for everybody. Oh yeah, you heard right. US dollars throughout May. You can win one thousand dollars daily. All you need to do is top up fifty dollars or more to get yourself into a daily draw to win one thousand dollars. A thousand dollars goes out to a winner every weekday. Chop your dollar. <laughs> Kumium, we are better together. Hello and welcome to the Fatu Show. It's nice to be back. It's another week, and um, here we are again to bring you the Comium sponsored Fatu show. And um, welcome uh, once again. Welcome, and thank you all. We've been receiving your text messages um, from friends saying they're enjoying the show. We're happy about that. And <coughs> if you have contributions and comments that you would want um, to, you know, send to us, you're welcome. We are on Facebook. Uh, the Fatu Show is on there, or because I'm sure you cannot be uh, my befriend me on Facebook because already it says I have too many friends. I don't know why, but I think they have a limit. If you have up to 5,000 people, nobody can add you, so you might not have access to my personal one. But um, the Fatu Show one is opened. And you can always um, be our friends on the Fatu Show page. Also, we have a, um, a Gmail account. I think it's the Fatu Show at gmail.com. If you uh, want to send us messages, you can send it via email. And um, thank you for your co phone calls. We've been receiving them. And, you know, sometimes people will text and say, we want to speak to you personally, Fatu. I'm sorry, but the show now is coordinated by the King Kiliba family, and they're the ones who take all the phone calls. So I don't take the phone calls. That does not mean I don't love my fans. I love you also very much. But um, unfortunately, I'm not there to pick up phones every time. But what you can do is send us emails, and I'll be able to uh, reply inshallah and uh, yes we talked about the Tudor Park I'll always keep talking about this Tudor Park because it has to go out of Gambia especially out of reach for young children and uh, some people sent me an email I'm sure um, um, some women as well and this there was one who said that uh, her home is broken because of Tudor Park the husband was taking this um, alcoholic drink and then coming home drunk every day and you know she was beaten every night and at the end you know she had to get a divorce it is a very sad situation but my concern is young people taking this Tudor Park young people as young as 10 11 years at their every days and all their parties they have access to it once again I'm not saying gin is illegal all that I'm saying is please, 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 please send it, sell it to adults or ask for ID cards when you're selling gin to children because definitely there's no way kids should have access to gin. It is not good and also health-wise, we don't know what is in that. And um, once again, if the authorities are watching, please help us, please help us. This is becoming a problem. Um, the government of the Gambia, under the leadership of His Excellency, the President, has done a very good job with fighting drugs in this country. We have seen how far that have gone and inshallah, now um, that has gone very well. And now we have alcohol coming into our country and this is being to children, very, very young children. It's called Tutor Park. They're selling it at all the local stores and also at um, mini markets for $3. Sometimes they sell them for $5. It's ready, ready, it's very accessible. Kids can just go and buy it. We, we cannot have that. So please um, help us take care of that. And um, we have a lot of messages on Facebook about the topic that we will talk about today because it was posted on there and people have been contributing. The topic today, we're talking about public figures otherwise known as celebrities. These are people who we feel don't have, they don't have private life. Because people would say once you're a public figure, you've given up um, you know, the, the, the part that you would have privacy in your life. And the media is always out there to bring issues into your life, to make sure that everything about you is out there um, in the public. We've seen the story